Mark says this is an interesting story, so I just wanted to uh, uh, ask you about the bike, and he says that it has some cool backstory behind it. Well, yeah, the backstory is that it didn't really exist before the show, <laughs> and uh, you know, because of COVID, we got a, I, I had submitted a bike in 2020, and we, had, uh -huh. we got invited, and uh, I got canceled, and the show got canceled again, and right. again, and uh, a little bit of a month ago, under a month ago, they said the show's going to happen. Uh -huh. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. But the bike that I had submitted, uh -huh. it, it was no longer around. And there was some issues with the paint. And it was like eight colors. I called my painter and he's like, three weeks? You are crazy. I cannot do that. So, I mean, I literally thought about it. The next day, I, I, uh -huh. I called, uh, uh, Natalie called me from the show. Hey, you're going to uh -huh. make it. And I said, I'm sorry, I can't. Can we do it next year? She's like, yeah, that's cool. You know, come next year. That's fine. You have uh -huh. some time. And then I hung up and I stared at the ceiling all night. And I woke up at five in the morning. I got out of bed really. I thought, if I'm gonna do this, it's gonna kill me. I got three weeks to build a bike. Uh -huh. And I was like, ah, no, I can't do that. My lady was like, you look crazy. <laughs> you got that look in your, in your eyes, right? So then I was like, I can't wait till next year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for You're it. You're going for so it. So I had to huh? beg people and like bribe them with my mama's food and my mom's <laughs> cooking. Is oh right, what was the phenomenal. deal with uh, the? Uh, taquitos or something? Some cheesecake and some salsas and some tangerine juice, uh -huh. meals. So you're telling me that you use your mom's food as bribery to get... To get the processing done because uh -huh. you know, as a builder you, you have... It's not just you, I mean, powder coating, cap plating, zinc plating, uh, right, right. paint, upholstery right. supply and whatnot, uh, thread, you name it, right? Vendors. Uh -huh. I think it's you, also funny that the original painter for your previous bike couldn't get it done in three weeks. So you just decided to build a whole bike well, in three weeks. Well, the original weeks. bike I had submitted had eight colors, and they were all Porsche colors. Oh, I and see what you're saying. get okay. the paint mixed and whatnot. Uh -huh. Usually, you know, when you're building it, you go to the paint people, and they'll you get the codes, and then, uh -huh. you know, they have a few days to mix it. Right, I got you. For me, like, every hour was a day. So mm. I was on that kind of mentality, like, I got to get this done. Yeah. So it was just, yeah. it was crazy. Well, let's check it out. Can you uh, kind of run, run me through the bike and what your uh, whole yeah, so thought it's, process it's, was uh, behind like it? A dirt style kind of thing. I really enjoy. Uh, you know, it's not like what, like a scrambler. Right, a right. Dirt style. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, I've always been a fan of design, and I have mm -hmm. a degree in, in cinema and arts. So um, you know, I was working for like Visual Balance. Right. And mechanically, I race an Arma, a CB750. Oh, okay. So I know the bikes really well. I've uh -huh. crashed them. They've hurt me. I've hurt them. <laughs> And it's a love affair I've had with them for a very long time. So is this uh, based on a CB7? So this 750? is a 1973 CB750. Okay. And uh, with some modifications and whatnot. Okay. And uh, some geometry uh, with the suspension updates right. here and there. Yeah, man. It's gorgeous. I love it. I, I do love the um, uh, the color scheme and just how it's just very tastefully done. Where the, you know, the... the Orange is red, offsets the green, and yeah, then how the yeah. seat matches the tank, but it's, uh, you know. There's some hidden Swarovski crystals in the bike. During the pandemic, I got into the oh, dazzling really? thing. Oh, really? It was, it was crazy. <laughs> That's funny. And they're hidden. Uh -huh. um, the next build is going to not be hidden. I'm going to go crazy with the Swarovski, but you okay. know, we'll see what happens with that. The seat was really interesting because I'm a big fan of Porsches. I have some right. old ones. And I love the Pepita, the, the houndstooth. Mm -hmm. And I've always been curious about working with it on a motorcycle. Okay, yeah. But then I was kind of like, well, I don't know if it's going to work. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those things where I was, Let, let's try it. Mm -hmm. And I, I made the seat, and then I put it on the bike. And at first I was like, what have I done? And then I kind of uh -huh. stepped back and I stared at it. And I was like, I like it. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, I think I think the seat's awesome. So you made, you made the seat. So what, what parts um, do you have to outsource and what parts do you make yourself? Well, the building I do myself and the design, a lot of people right. I work with, like, I, I work with Underground Customs to do the seat. Uh -huh. And the problem with the, the fabric on the seat, wool's really loose. It's not mm -hmm. like vinyl or leather. Mm -hmm. If you pull it a certain way, it starts to kind of deform really easily right. because of the stripes. So getting uh -huh. the, the, the shape to get to all stay, the stripes, is, so he, he was up. mad at me. <laughs> he was like, you bastard. <laughs> How dare you, right? And That's I was like, so funny. You know. I never like to be over anybody's shoulder, uh, but I was right there, like, dude, come on, man. Like, oh, I these are crooked, seat, right? <laughs> uh, Cognito Moto is an a amazing designer, and and he makes beautiful parts, and they're, they're throughout the bike. Um, the suspension, the tuning, I do all myself. I build my own engines. 
Uh, there's some Beetlejuice I've learned from racing oh, okay. to keep them from leaking or max uh, performance. Right. Uh, it's a mild build, so it's um, usable. You don't have to tune it a lot. Okay. You know, it doesn't yeah. rip too hot because of that and uh, whatnot. Awesome. So uh, you said you race bikes. So yeah, uh, yeah. Um, how often do you ride this particular one? This bike is, it's, I mean, as you can tell, it hasn't been ridden much. It has under 100 miles on the clock. Okay. Um, usually these bikes end up in collections and they don't get ridden in right. offices and right. uh, houses. Mm -hmm. I encourage people to ride them. Um, they're Absolutely. really fun to ride. I set them up so they're, they just cook. They, they feel nimble, nice mm -hmm. power. They stop great and they look good. They so, look amazing. It's, um, I'm always making it. jokes that I'm making furniture out of motorcycles <laughs> because they end because up they like end up. furniture. And I'm like, <laughs> Use it. Yeah, Beat it yeah. up. I want to see one really it's, uh, messed up. On a pedestal in someone's living yeah, room. Yeah, right? yeah. So, you know, it kind of, I think a lot of the bikes in this show mm -hmm. maybe have that fate. Like, you know, they end up as these kind of works of art because they are. Right. But I think right. it's also important to realize they're machines mm -hmm. and they're meant to be enjoyed. And right. Beat up and taken yeah. care of, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah, so do you sell a lot of bikes or um, do you just kind of make them for yourself? No, the bikes or? do go into collections oh, okay. and, uh, you know, that, that's what keeps me, like, it's not my full-time gig, so right. it's a passion of mine and, right. and uh, people, like, they love them and they end up purchasing them. Nice. So all the bikes do end up for sale. Um, it's not, uh, you know, people ask me if I can do this or that and I say, mm. well, I come up with the bikes, if you love it, I, I, if you're welcome to, right. to, to buy it, but I don't really have a... I guess because it's a passion of mine, uh -huh. you gotta wait for me to build one. Right, you you don't want someone you can have it or not. Uh, nitpicking on changing this and that for yeah, a bike that you want to make, right? Because my choices are you know artistic yeah. or whatever, right. design driven, right. not necessarily like like the, the status quo. Right. So I understand, and that's why I feel like well, I don't want to do certain things. Mm -hmm. The only way I can do that is by just going for my own design. Right. And maybe someone's like as kooky as I am and they'll appreciate it. So. <laughs> Yeah, man. Well, it's a gorgeous bike. Thank you, I love man. it. Thank you. Um, so, uh, do you have any social media that we should be aware of? Uh, yeah, yeah. Instagram, of uh, um, Facebook, all that so kind of stuff. I'm on at formula um, at formula underscore 750. Okay. And uh, you can find me at uh, uh, formula750.com. Okay, and perfect. My website is there, and then you can see other bikes that I build. There's uh, some of our, our racing uh, kind of uh -huh. portfolio. Okay. A little bit of history of the of the class. I race in Formula 750, so I decided mm -hmm. to adopt that for okay. for the company. Perfect. And whatnot, and you know, uh, it's just uh, I have all kinds of bikes, but the 750s for me are just I don't know. There's something. It's that sweet click, spot, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah uh -huh. Well, awesome. Cool. Uh, can I ask one more favor of you? Yeah. We have a tagline. Our tagline is. Do epic shit. Oh, hell Could yeah. Could you like look at the camera and tell everyone out there to do epic shit? Tienes que hacer cosas épicas. Épicas. <laughs> Break the box. Really like uh, do epic shit because that's, do what you want. Do your style, your dream. I mean, I get a lot of uh, insults for doing my thing, but that's it. You said it. It's epic. It's beautiful. And I mean, just be brave with your designs. Don't, uh, don't be, it, it sounds weird. Don't be limited by what you see. Just right. go for it, for sure. Awesome. And stay tuned for Sparkle Pony. It's gonna be nasty. Sparkle Pony. <laughs> That's the next one. Yeah. Going full on in the dazzling, I'm going right? For it, man. I'm going for <laughs> That's it. great. Can't wait. <laughs>